Hello my dears and welcome back to my corner of the internet. Today I have a book talk video for you guys and today we are going to be talking about Stuart McLean. Now for anyone watching from Canada, there's a good chance that you're pretty familiar with Stuart McLean. If not his work, then you will at least know the name. For those of you watching from other places, you're probably not as familiar, so I'll give you a little bit of background. Stuart McLean was a professor, he was a radio host, he was a award-winning journalist, an author, a humorist, and an all-around national treasure. He was a huge inspiration to me as a writer, as well as, I'm sure, countless other writers and comedians around the country. Um, and he passed away last week. He was 68 years old and he died from melanoma that he was diagnosed with on November in, in 2015. Um, I can remember when he first talked about his diagnosis, uh, he, made, he had made a post on Facebook um, that he was going to have to cancel his tour um, because he was sick, but you know, not to worry about him. Uh, everything would be fine. And I remember being just heartbroken, just even reading that, because I had hoped to get tickets to go and uh, listen to him talk around Christmas time and share his stories. He was uh, a storyteller unlike any other I've come across. Um, so back to a bit of the history. In 1974, I believe, he began working for the CBC. He did research for uh, radio shows. And then he became a co-host on one, and then in 1994, he um, got a summer series, and he called it The Vinyl Cafe. And um, on that radio series, he would tell stories, he would read stories that he had written about this family. And in this family, there's the mom and dad, Dave and Morley, and then their two kids, Sam and Stephanie. And all the stories were about this family. And um, they were so, so funny. Um, then in uh, 1995, he put out his first book um, collection of Vinyl Cafe stories called simply Stories from the Vinyl Cafe. And <laughs> these that was the first of many, 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 many collections of Vinyl Cafe stories have come out since then. The most recent being, I believe, 2015. And they're the kind of stories that are so uplifting because they are so funny. Um, they're funny and they're heartwarming and they're relatable in ways. But even though the stories unfold in such crazy... Um, shenanigans it's still so relatable and they're the kind of books that you can pick up at any time flip to a page and just read the story and just love it there's one in particular that I can barely talk about without laughing because it is so funny and it's something that I've worried about so in this story he talks about how Dave wants to have his blood pressure checked so, um, you know how in the drugstores they have the little blood pressure machine where you can sit and put your arm in the cuff and it'll take your blood pressure and it gets very tight and then it lets go and everything is good. But Dave has a lot of anxiety around this machine. He doesn't want there to be anybody around when he's doing it because he's just, for whatever reason, that's just one of the things that causes him extreme anxiety. So he decides that he is going to be at the drugstore when it opens and he'll be the first one in. He can check his blood pressure, get in, get out. Everything's fine. Uh, but of course, it does not work out like that. And he ends up stuck in the machine, his blood pressure through the roof because he is so scared. Um, and <laughs> like the jaws of life having to come and remove him from it. And it's just so ridiculous, but it's so funny. It's one of those laugh out loud stories. And there are so many like that. And there are also so many that will bring a tear to your eye because they are so sweet and so heartwarming. And it's just this family who loves each other so much and they're doing the best that they can to get through life 
with a smile. And if you haven't read any of these books, I highly recommend them. I grabbed a couple off the shelf just to uh, share with you here. This is the last one. Stuart McLean, uh, Vinyl Cafe Turns the Page. This was the last one. I believe it came out in 2015. And um, I don't know, I don't know if there's kind of another one that'll come out um, after he's gone, but, um, or if this will be the final one, but it's so good. They're all so good. I also grabbed uh, Revenge of the Vinyl Cafe and Secrets from the Vinyl Cafe. These books are readily available on Amazon no matter where you live. I suggest so strongly you grab one and read the stories that's these four family members you get to know their neighbors the town it's just the best and um, I think the closest I could kind of uh, come to comparing him to somebody would be uh, Irma Bombeck uh, so if you like her kind of stories and her kind of storytelling you'll love Stuart McLean so um, yeah, that's, that's it, really. Um, I just wanted to share him with you and uh, put his name into your mind so that you can keep an eye out and read, read what you can. If you'd rather listen to something, I know on YouTube, if you put in Stuart McLean, um, you can watch videos of him telling stories on tour. And um, there's one really funny one. It's... Um, I think this is uh, the name is Dave Toilet Trains the Cat, and it's just so funny. I think it's a three-part video, each video being about seven minutes long, and it's hilarious. It's laugh out loud funny. Um, so definitely give him a look, give him a read. I promise, if you get one of these books and you read it, and then you know that there's so many others out there, you will just be chomping at the bit to read more of them because you'll just you'll want more of this family in your life so I'm also gonna do some shout outs today as always but before I do I thought it would be fitting to leave you or leave this portion of the video with a quote from Stuart McLean from one of his Vinyl Cafe stories and it's about death so he says we do this thing we open our hearts to the world around us and the more we do that, the more we allow ourselves to love, the more we are bound to find ourselves one day, like Dave and Morley and Sam and Stephanie, standing in the kitchen of our life, surrounded by the ones we love and feeling empty and alone and sad and lost for words because one of our loved ones who should be there is missing, mother or father, brother or sister, a uh, wife or husband, or a dog or cat, it doesn't really matter. After a while, each death feels like all the deaths. And you stand there like everyone has, like everyone else has stood there before you, while the big wind of sadness blows around and through you. He was a great dog, said Dave. Yes, said Morley. He was a great dog. I just thought that was such a beautiful quote and fitting for for um, the time. I was just I was heartbroken to hear of his passing. So if you've read any Stuart McLean or you listened to him on the radio, because he was on the radio for years and years and years, um, I'd love to know what stories are your favorite. And uh, yeah, that's it for that. Now we'll get to the shout outs. Um, every Friday I like to um, talk about two or three channels that I just love and think you might love too. So first up is uh, Kimmy Unlimited. She's this awesome woman that's got a great channel. I absolutely love watching her videos with her and her family. They seem like such nice and genuine people that I just love watching them. So of course her channel link will be down in the description below. Go and check her out. Tell her that I sent you. And um, yeah, I think you really like her content. Next, if you like beauty, beauty reviews, things like that, Tomi Ashworth is an excellent YouTuber to check out. She's got a very, um, 
likable personality. I love listening to her talk. She's beautiful. She seems very sweet. And I just really love her beauty videos. So definitely go and check her out too. And then finally, uh, for today, it's Cheryl and family. They're a, uh, like a family vlogger group and they put out videos every day. And it's just nice to watch these nice people living their lives. And I just love getting that little peek into their lives every day. And uh, if you like family vlogging, I think you will enjoy it. So that is it for today, you guys. I hope you have an amazing weekend. And I will see you guys on Monday with a collab video with my sister. <laughs> I'll see you guys then.